jungle. Supervision, Chuchi Sun is here over here. The, uh, this is a, a very important event for us. This is a ceremonial launch, if you will, of BPI Direct Banco. Now, BPI Direct Banco is a combination of BPI Direct and Banco. And both of these institutions have some history. For those of you who've been in the bank long enough, you might remember that BPI Direct was originally BPI's agricultural bank back in the 70s and 80s. It was built up as an agricultural bank. But eventually, BPI built up enough of its own agricultural portfolio that it didn't need a separate agricultural bank. So what we did in the early 2000s, I believe mean this was 2002, is we relaunched BPI BPI Agri as BPI Direct, and we relaunched it as a virtual bank. This bank was supposed to do online banking uh, for clients. And uh, that was a time when online banking was still relatively new in the Philippines, right? That was at a time when most of the banking done was brick and mortar. So that was BPI Direct. On the other hand, Banco, Right, Banco was originally founded in 2009 as BPI Global Banco. And the goal of BPI Global Banco was to do microfinance, but to do it in a way that combined credit with technology, the mobile phone. Hence the combination of BPI and Glow. Fast forward to today. What has happened is if you look at BPI Direct's business, an online business, it has been overtaken by the rest of BPI. Because BPI today is probably the most online bank in the country. As since BPI has gone online to the full bank, the need for a separate online bank, a separate virtual bank, is no longer so necessary. On the other hand, in the case of Globanco, what we found out was that Globanco was excellent at acquiring customers. It was excellent for the payments business. But because it was so good on the acquisition side of the business, it wasn't so good in one basic product, and that is loans. And what became very apparent to us is the segment we are targeting, the microfinance segment we are targeting, they need credit. They need credit. So what did we do? On the Banco side, on the Global Banco side, we and BPI decided to buy out our partners, in this case, Globe and Ayan, to take over Banco completely. And then we combined it with BPI Direct. Because boy, basically, these two banks had two separate thrift bank licenses. We combined it. We took the strength of BPI Direct, the financial strength of BPI Direct, with the expertise of Banco. So that is what we have today. All right? BPI Direct Banco. What is unique about BPI Direct Banco? I cannot think of very many financial institutions in the country that are specific specifically targeting self-employed microentrepreneurs in, in terms of giving them small business loans. Okay? Self-employed microentrepreneurs instead of in terms of giving them small business loans. This is a relatively new venture for us. We intend to build this frankly quickly. By the end of this month we will probably have about 40 or so branches and offices. By the end of this year, 
we target about 100 branches and offices. But put this in perspective, it's taken 166 years for BPI, the main bank, to have, in combination with Family Bank, about 850 or so branches, right? This initiative, BPI Direct, which is barely a year, a year and a half old, would have grown 100 branches in that span of time. That is the importance we are giving to the self-employed micro-entrepreneurial sector. We think this will be distinguishing. We're working with uh, consultants and advisors that have done this all over the world. We are working with a new batch of BPI Unibankers. And the reason we're working with a new batch of BPI Unibankers is because the mindset, the skill set, the energy that is needed to attack the self-employed micro entrepreneur segment is very, very different than what we have in either BPI, the main bank, or in BPI Family Savings Bank. We have to understand that these are different market segments requiring different skills. Interestingly, while BPI Direct still today accounts for a small portion of BPI's total loan portfolio. And even three or four years from now, we'll probably still account for a relatively minority of BPI's loan portfolio. I think the energy you will see in this space, the talent you will see in this space, and the results that you will see in this space will stand for themselves. It is all about financial inclusion. Um, I will make the point that our current central bank governor, Governor Nesting Espinilla, owned the financial inclusion initiative when he was the deputy governor of the central bank. This is important. This was important not only to his predecessor, but especially important to him. I know it is also important to the current uh, leadership of the, of, the, of the Banco Central. It is obviously very important for us because this is where the economy is going. So without, I, 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 if, you don't, if you don't stop me, I can talk about this for hours. <laughs> but I hope it reflects the fact that I am so excited by this space. So without further ado, I just want to thank the chairman, the chairwoman of, of BPI Direct Nabi Adepo, who was really always <laughs> uh, I, I would like to thank the, the uh, executive leadership of uh, BPI Direct, uh, Jerome and Rod. One of the big challenges that Jerome and Rod found out is, is we were trying to force them to make decisions every single day because this is growing at a rate faster than any of our other businesses. BPI has never grown a business this quickly. Okay? And of course, we might make the occasional mistake. But between Jerome and Rod, we will make sure that we course correct as we move. So again, congratulations to all of you. Uh, thank you for our attendance. Our special thanks to our special guests from the BSP. Good morning, everyone. From the president of BPI, we shall now be hearing everything about Banco from no less than the chairman of BPI Direct Banco, Ma'am Natividad N. Alejo.
And finally, to my fellow Banco Bares and Banco Bares. Earlier this morning, we opened to the public our humble exhibit to showcase what we do in Banco and the lives that we touch as we go about our work. Through, their hard work, through these hardworking individuals, we hope to tell the story of how we are able to grow the businesses of our neighborhood, Panaderos, Tinderas, um, our Sastres, and other micro entrepreneurs. Their businesses individually may be small, but if only because of their sheer number, we know that there are about 2.5 million households uh, operating in this segment of the market. They actually provide the backbone for the Philippine economy. But the need to provide focus and access to financial services for this segment is very evident. I borrowed this slide from the BSP uh, Financial Inclusion Initiatives study or survey in 2016. And really, you will see that only 31% of Filipino adults have an account with a bank, and 24.5% of Filipinos actually never save. An ATB study further estimates that 52% of credit, uh, of the credit needs of the local market, are actually provided by informal service, service providers. So, cognizant of this need, in 2016, DPI decided to take the decisive and concrete steps to fulfill its part towards inclusiveness. DPI took full ownership of Banco, as, as was pointed out earlier by Mr. Kamsing, and then merged the bank with its other three banking subsidiary DPI Direct. This merger created a much bigger Banco with capital and heft substantial enough to address DPI's aspirations for its microfinance business. <clears throat> the merged bank, DPI Direct Banco, was redirected to focus on the self-employed micro entrepreneurs or the SMEs, and this is the segment of the market in the lower end of the C space as well as in the upper end of the D space. <clears throat> this would be the small businessmen who own at least one business employing less than 10 people in the business. Banco provides low-cost banking for, uh, services, particularly loans to these SEMEs, whose borrowing needs are usually too big for the microfinance institutions and even the rural banks, but too small for the commercial banks and the thrift banks uh, to even pay attention to. Banco has deployed a model that meets the unique preferences and capabilities of the Senate, streamlining requirements and processes for our negotiable clients. Negotiable loans are affordable, tailor fit for SMEs, either for additional capital or business expansion. After a year of business model design and pilot testing, Banco is set to expand its network to 100 branches and MPOs by the end of 2017. And potentially to expand this some more in the next three to five years uh, if, if the model works out well. In the past three weeks, we opened 15 new branches and MPOs in key areas around the country, including Bicol, Pampanga, Negros Oriental, and Davao bringing the total existing network of Banco to 24 branches and MBOs. By the end of the year, as I mentioned, we hope to grow this network to 100. Later on, we'll be sharing with you some highlights of our recent branch openings and some of the stories of, of our clients who have um, grown their businesses with the help of Banco. We've also invited to join us this morning four of our clients who brought in also their products and uh, please feel free later on to talk to them and, and they'd be happy to tell you their own stories. Banco's model of providing best-in-class STEM products relies on scale 
management of risk, and its policy and trust. Our clients are guided by financial advisors we call Banco Pares and Banco Mares, loan officers who are part of the community and engage SPMEs. These friendly and approachable bankers help our clients manage their finances, give expert financial advice, assist them to take advantage of our own products, and all the time mindful of the specific needs and circumstances of these micro entrepreneurs. Finally, our guiding principles for banking in Bangkok to be relevant and effective, to make sure that our uh, type of banking, our model of banking, is always easy and attractive for our target market segment with loans that are accessible and relevant for them. Relevant because we're able to turn around uh, quickly, our target is to be able to turn around in three to five days. Uh, innovative credit processes that are mindful of the realities of our bank uh, target market. No frills banking, uh, knowledge, uh, very deep knowledge in the community is very uh, key, is very important. And finally, again, uh, to repeat, offering and service models tailored particularly to the SEME customer needs. Some of our micro entrepreneurs are here, and I would like uh, to, to invite you later on to talk to them. But in the meantime, let me share with you a video that was prepared uh, that shows not just the branch openings that we, we did in the, in the past few weeks, but also the stories of some of our family.
sabi ng ay, ito ginan tingin parang stuck din na tuwala din ng Diyos ay ba dami na lang sila tapos maging hanyas ka ng gamala ng pagal ng gamala ng sabi sa mga Ako po sila si Joy at Dina Katiliana na sinandito upang kagawin lang sa Magetic City na nakakunto pag negosyo sa ating mama o sa ating papa. Sa first project nila, ako gulo po ni Maria sa show mine, show power, ni Pachet, ubo, ice cream. Kahit ang dito sa bako, ni Gusho Kulun, sa mga panagita kami ni Bako Paris, so ni Open Hala ko Ana, na dati sinunod sa ilang favorite stars, mga opera, then domestic and terror, na kukun siya effect sa ating business. Uh, last 
Among the highlights of her career as a central backer are the following. First, um, her designation as the BSP's point person for two very important legislative measures that were passed by Congress. And I remember that I was still in the investment banking side when this was passed, and we were working very closely at the Capital Markets uh, Development Council with Chuchi here. Uh, these were the Securitization Act and the Special Purpose Vehicle Act, uh, both instrumental in actually developing our capital markets uh, in, the, in the country. The second was the recognition of her department in 2008 as BPI's prime, as BSP's primary supervisory unit that handled specially challenged banks, where a record number of banks were successfully resolved. And third, the development of various programs in coordination with PBIC, aimed at strengthening the thrift, rural, and cooperative banking sectors by encouraging mergers, consolidations, and acquisitions involving big banks. Um, the strengthening program for rural banks, SPR B plus, uh, strengthening program for the cooperative banks, and the consolidation programs for rural banks. All of these were actually uh, initiated uh, by the team that was led by Ms. Punisher. She attended the program on rethinking financial inclusion. Smart design for a policy and practice, which was organized by the Harvard Kennedy School and has gone to various foreign trading centers and conferences, actively participating in many of these conferences, particularly where it involved financial inclusion. Uh, and therefore, she has really served as a, a, as a resource speaker and resource person on various initiatives of financial inclusion in various international conferences such as the Third International Conference on Financing for Development held at the UN headquarters in New York, as well as the UNESCO Asia Pacific Conference uh, in Jakarta, Indonesia. Uh, truly a person who has lived uh, promoting the, the sector of society that we now want to address in Baku. Uh, and I'd like her to speak more about you, Ms. Chuchi Kamashi. <laughs> Thank you, Nami, for that very generous introduction. Um, BPI President and CEO, Mr. Cesar Consing. Um, of course, Banco Chairman Nandi Alejo. Um, Mr. Jane Rosariana, the Independent Director of Banco. Jerome uh, Milana, the President and C uh, COO of Banco. Uh, senior officers of uh, BPI as well as Banco, um, friends from the media and civil society, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Um, of course, I am pleased and honored to join you this morning in launching the new Banco. Um, as with all new beginnings, this event is imbued with the spirit of hope and enthusiasm. So such hope and enthusiasm is well placed as the envisioned journey of Banco is one that we know can contribute to our shared objective of making our financial system not only stronger but more inclusive. At the BSP, financial inclusion is and will continue to be our humble part in the inclusive growth agenda of the government. Um, actually, uh, Governor um, Lester A. Estrella Jr., um, in his inaugural speech as the BSP uh, chief, has made pronouncements that his term will be characterized not only by continuity in our pursuit of monetary and financial stability, but also a dedicated pursuit of financial inclusion. So this is in recognition that the strong and stable macroeconomic and financial environment 
to be truly meaningful needs to be inclusive, to create jobs, and to improve welfare. I see the launch of Banco as a direct response to the call of the BSP governor to bring banking services closer to the people. Those who need financial services can pay for them but are still unserved. So with Banco's focus on self-employed micro-entrepreneurs, or the SEMIS, um, small businesses will have easy access to affordable and appropriately designed loans and other financial services in order for them to fund their operations and grow their business. I love your approach of tailor fitting not only the design, but even the delivery channels of your negotiable loans. And in addition, the idea of Banco Pares and Banco Mares, who can also provide much needed business advice, will surely add value to your service. With access to financial services, SEMIS can generate income for their families and employment for the broader community. So imagine multiplying this success story many times over. So our service can certainly drive inclusive growth where no one is left behind. So on the part of the BSP, we recognize that in order for financial service providers like you to fully achieve their objectives, the operating environment should be really enabling. We continue to do this through our regulations. The relevant and recent ones include our Agri Value Chain Financing Guidelines, the CAS agent regulations, and our amended uh, AML rules, among others. But apart from regulations, we are active in working with partners to further strengthen the financial infrastructure <coughs> that will support financing to micro, small, and medium enterprises, enterprises or the MSMEs. So these include credit information systems, several transactions or the secure transactions and collateral registries and the credit guarantee programs. So these are necessary infrastructure that must be in place to truly lead to effective and sustainable results. We also remain open to innovation and believe that finding new ways of doing things can help us improve and evolve. We believe that innovative solutions whether in product design or service delivery, need not be stifled, but instead be allowed to operate in an environment where the risk associated with uh, such innovations and adequately understood and addressed, and where there is proportionate application of sound principles so that rules and regulations are neither too lax nor too restricted. At present, the BSP sets its sights on digital innovations as the primary catalyst to reach greater scale. To achieve this, we are addressing the functional limitations, particularly on lack of interoperability in the, in the digital finance ecosystem. So this is the motivation behind the National Retail Payment System, or the NRPS, which aims to enable customers to make electronic fund transfers and payments from one account to any account in a safe, efficient, affordable, and reliable manner. And in parallel, we are working on regulations to democratize access to an account and coordinating with government on ways to develop a biometric identification system. So I think this would also really help Banco a lot. We also remain open, of course, to development of financial technology or fintech, while cognizant of emerging risks such as business interruptions, network vulnerabilities, and concerns about data privacy, security, financial integrity, and consumer protection. As the fundamental conditions to build a thriving digital finance ecosystem are met, it is exciting to envision how digital solutions can expand the reach of financial services in the country at a much lower cost on a massive scale, benefiting both the providers and the consumers. 
So it is in this light of innovation and dynamism where I also want to recognize the Banco journey. When BPI Glow Banco was established in 2009, you had a noble and ambitious goal to bank the bank and contribute to the reduction of poverty in the country. As a microfinance engaged bank tapping branchless banking solutions, it was able to serve low income people through its wide network of retail agents, employing simplified onboarding rules so that people can have easy access to a savings account, loan, micro insurance, and payment on remittance service. I know that you have several changes in terms of your approach to find the best way to achieve your objectives. You are not afraid to question your approach and to it as necessary. And as the saying goes, instead of trying to be perfect the first time, you do something, and that's the doing the first time, trying to perfect it, you simply aim to get better over time. That's really responsible. That's the power of iteration. So in mathematics, for instance, iteration is the process of applying a function repeatedly to approximate a complex numerical problem. So same goes in real life. It is through the continuous process of testing and learning that we are able to address our problem and achieve our goal. I think that's really Banco's journey. I am confident that after learning from your gains and experience through BPI Direct and Banco, you are now ready to, to test and learn from your new business model, this time braver, stronger, and smarter than before. So this mindset is what we hope to cultivate so that we can continuously find ways to serve more and more people. So our challenge is clear. Only 31% of Filipino adults own a formal account. And we all have, of course, surely a long way to go. Uh, rest assured that the BSP will continue to nurture an enabling regulatory environment that allows market-based solutions to thrive and create space for innovations that allow both the financial uh, institutions and financial consumers to seize the opportunities before them. So thank you, BPI. Thank you, Banco, for being our trusted partner in championing financial inclusion. And of course, let us continue to working together, uh, to work together to move the banking sector forward and make financial inclusion a reality in this country. So, mabuhay ang Pilipinas and mabuhay tayo sa lahat. Thank you.